Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Signs of cherry eye in dogs This bulge won't be bleeding and is not painful but is usually pretty obvious to an owner. Sometimes the bulge will come and go but other times the cherry eye will be out permanently until veterinary care is received. Point one eight September 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. Cherry eye, as it is commonly referred to, is a prolapsed gland of the nictitans. It occurs after a tear gland in a dog's third eyelid becomes inflamed. While it is usually not extremely painful, sometimes a dog will rub at it as if it were itchy. 18 September 2014. Make your mark, take our lead. This is usually not a painful problem, but if the gland is getting traumatized or dried out it may swell or become ulcerated, which is irritating to the pet. More importantly, if the gland remains out for a matter of months it may become damaged enough that it no longer functions. Let's help you make your mark. What causes cherry eye? When the nictitating membrane responsible for holding your dog's third eyelid gland in place gets damaged, torn, or otherwise loses its anchoring grip which allows the tear gland to pop out. Once out into the open, the gland tissue can become irritated, dry, or swollen and turn red. 6 November 2017. Take our lead. Cherry eye is a condition that can manifest and progress very quickly, and symptoms are strongly tied to what stage it is in. The nictitating membrane and attached tear glands do not move out of place slowly. They tend to do so quickly, often suddenly, which is what causes the tear gland to protrude in the first place. 12 September 2017. Take our lead. Cherry eye in dogs is not considered to be a life-threatening or painful condition, however, the condition can put your dog in a considerable amount of distress. Therefore, it is ideal to get the condition treated promptly by a veterinarian to thwart any possibilities of a permanent ocular damage. 17 May 2017. Take our lead. Signs of cherry eye in dogs. Oval swelling protruding from the edge of the third eyelid. May occur in one or both eyes. Epiphora, excessive tear production. Inflamed conjunctiva. Blepharospasm, excessive squinting. Dry eye. The 9th of September 2019. Let's help you make your mark. Cherry eye in dog prevention Unfortunately, there are no known preventative measures to protect against cherry eye, Collins said. This condition can develop in both eyes, usually before the age of two. Take our lead. When a cherry eye is first diagnosed, your veterinarian may recommend a course of anti-inflammatory eye drops, to help reduce the swelling. Antibiotic eye medication may also be prescribed, if there is an associated discharge. If the cherry eye persists and causes discomfort, surgery will be the next step. 9 September 2019. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.